Good day everyone. I'm Moses Becerro together with my groupmate Christopher Gomez. Yeah. And we are the group one. Group one. Yeah. And our chosen topic for today is about basic concepts of graphs and research. So let's start. Graphs and basic concepts. So here are the table of contents that we will tackle later on. First is basic definitions, vertices and edges. More definitions, paths, simple paths, cycles, and loops. Connected and disconnected graphs. Spanning trees, complete graphs, weighted graphs, and networks. Graph representation. Uh, graph representation, they have two types. Agency matrix and agency list. And here we are in basic graph definitions. A graph is a mathematical object that is used to model different situations, objects, and processes. So here are the list examples. Link list, tree, partial instance of graph, flowchart of a program, city map, electric circuits, and course curriculum. A graph has a basic definition which is vertices and edges. Definition A graph is a collection or non empty set of vertices and edges. Vertices can have names and properties. Edges, connect to vertices, can be labeled, and can be directed. Adjacent vertices, there is an edge between them. As we can see here, in graph 1, here are the graphic representation of vertices and edges. So, as we can see, vertices is namely A, B, C and D. They are singular while edges are literally two pairs of vertices or groups that can form a line or anything. So as we can see AB AC BC and CD they are called edges here are the example of directed and undirected graphs. Graph 2 is directed. As you can see, AC, AB, and AD. Then, graph 3 is undirected. It is because, as you can see, AB, AD, but not AC. Is so... Here in more definition of paths, we'll take a look at more examples. Here, here it's a simple path. Unlike the first one here, no vertex is repeated. Because as we can see, in a path, most of them are repeated. Example, ABC, ABC, and then D. They're all repeated and loop. Just like here, B, A, B, A, and then C. But if we take a look at here, no vertex is repeated. A, B, C, D. Then next, D, C, A, D, C, B, A, B, and then A, B, C. They're all on a single path, which is not repeated. Here are the more definition of a cycle. Simple path with distinct edges except that the first vertex is equal to the last. Example, A, B, C, A, then B, A, C, B, then C, B, A, C. A graph without cycles is called a cyclic graph, which is letter D. It is because there is no connecting lines 
between B and D. Here are the more definition of loop. An edge that connects the vertex with itself. Example, A, uh, the vertex A is connected to itself and that's it called a loop. So here we are in connected and disconnected graphs. Connected graph is a path between each two vertices while disconnected graph are there at least two vertices not connected by a path so here are some examples of disconnected graph a b and c d now, if you wonder why they're called disconnected because not all of these four vertices are connected with each other we can notice that there's no line between A and C, and there's no line between B and D. And here, it's also called a disconnected graph on a, on a second example. A, B, and A, C, but there's no line between D, C, D, A, and D, B. So, very self-explanatory. Then... Here, next, between graphs and trees. So, here's a definition of tree. Tree is an undirected graph with no cycles and a node choosing to be the root. So, unlike in the first example, where there is cycle which the vertices can repeatedly be connected with each other, but here on trees, there's no cycle example ac ce cd and bd uh. so let's talk about spanning tree of an undirected graph a subgraph that contains all vertices and no cycles if we add any edge to the spanning tree it forms a cycle and the tree becomes a graph so here if we take a look at, at this first example this becomes a graph because we add edge on them example we connected a c and b and it forms a cycle while on the second example it's called a spanning tree because it forms a straight line and it doesn't form a cycle at all. So if we take a look at vertices B, A, C, D, we can notice that it forms a line and it doesn't cycle. Here are some examples of spanning tree. There is no cycle or it, it isn't repetitive. Just like vertices B, A, C, and D are all connected but it doesn't form cycle and same other examples. And here, let's talk about complete graphs. Here's the definition. Graphs with all edges present. Each vertex is connected to all vertices. So here, if we take a look at vertex A, it's connected to vertex C, E, B, and D, vice versa. They're all connected and they are, and they are all form a cycle. So, dense graphs, relatively few of the possible edges are missing. So, the other type of graphs is dense. It's almost the same as complete graphs, but its difference is some of the edges are missing and not connected. And here, sparse graph. Relatively few of the possible edges are present. So, just like here, if we try to imagine if few of the possible edges are present, it's called sparse graph. While here in the image it's called a complete graph 
since all of the vertex is connected to each other. Weighted graphs and networks. Weighted graphs weights are assigned to each edge. Networks, directed weighted graphs, or some theories allow networks to be undirected. Edge is composed of two pairs of vertices, like this example. The edge A and B, the assigned weighted is 1. The edge A and C, the assigned weighted is 2. The edge B and C, the assigned weighted is 2. The edge D and B, the assigned weighted is 4. The edge D and C, the assigned weighted is 3. So let's talk about graph representation. And here are two types. Adjusting C matrix and adjusting C list. Next, adjusting C matrix and undirected graphs. So here, if we take a look at vertices A, B, C, D, A, B, A, B, C, D, and then there are four edges A, C, A, B, A, D, and BD. So, if we take a look at here, here's undirected graph. The matrix here is symmetrical. Here, let's talk about adjacent symmetrix and directed graphs. So, if we take a look at vertices A, B, C, and D, and its edges is A, C, A, B, BD and DA. If you're wondering why is it called directed graphs, because as we can see, there's an arrow directed to them. Example, vertex A is directed to C, A is directed to B, and D is directed to A. That's why it's called directed. And if we take a look at here, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, here's uh, numbers 1 and 0. This indicates the connection between them. For example, vertex A and A is 0 because there's no connection between them. While vertex A and C is level 1. Because if we take a look at here, vertex A is directed connected to vertex C here it's a clear example this type of adjacency list is undirected graphs and here are the list of vertices and edges it is called undirected graph because the connected vertices doesn't have connecting arrow for example heads Vertex A is connected to vertex, vertex list B, C, and D. Heads, a heads, vertex B is connected to vertex list A and D. Heads, vertex C is connected to vertex list A last is heads D vertex D is connected to vertex list A and B and lastly adjusting C list and its type is directed graphs so it's almost the same as the previous one and directed graphs, but its difference as is it has an arrow. Example, vertices A, B, C, D, and edges A, C, A, B, and B, D, D, A. And as we take a look at heads 
A is connected to list B and C. And it's called directed because it has arrows. Same example on heads B is directly connected to list D. While head C doesn't have any vertices to connect on. And lastly, heads D is directly connected to heads D is directly connected to list A. And that's all. Thank you.